with them. Been gone a long time. Think we ought to go and find them. Oh, believe me, you don't want to get in the middle of them two when they're at it, does she, Nan? It is here. How could you be under the same roof as him if he did that? What choice have I got? How can I explain to people why I don't want him here? I'm doing all this for Dad. The rest of the time, I just stay out of his way. He walks into a room, I walk out. That's how I survive. I can't believe you just slept with him. I didn't sleep with him. He came in my room and violated me. I loved him so much. That done since I was little. He used to take me everywhere with him. Harry's little shadow, Dad used to call me. It was always so flash. The car, money. Making everyone laugh. It was different then. I suppose I had a crush on him. I used to be cuddling him all the time. I never used to think anything of it. I was special and I believed it. Started off just touching. I didn't know what to do. It made it feel normal. I knew it wasn't. If he did what you said, why didn't you tell anyone? It was our little secret. And that no one would understand and everyone would think I was bad. And then one day. He came into my room. Everyone was out. I don't know where they were. He kept saying, it's gonna be alright. That he loved me. I just laid there, terrified. And when he finished, he cried. <laughs> the next day, he just carried on like nothing had happened. Making everyone laugh. Good old Harry. After a couple of weeks, he tried to do it again to me. But I knew it was wrong. I knew that if I let him do it again, he would never stop. So I told Mum. I had to. What did you say? She was washing up. And I told her that he'd been touching me. And he kept coming into my room. She got angry with me. She said I was imagining things. And I just stopped lying like I always do. And I was never to talk about it again. And then what would happen if, if I if I let Daddy hear them things? I didn't have to tell him anyway because two weeks later he left for Spain. Next time I saw him, I was 18. He come back for Aunt Vi's funeral. Acted like nothing had happened. He looked at me, though. For the first time, I could see he was frightened. I catch him looking at me sometimes now, and I still get them feelings again. He's my dad. Where are you going? I'm going to ask him myself. No! No! Get your legs in, boy. That's it. What's all that about? I don't know. I'm really the one wearing the trousers, my son. You make no mistake about that. You have to start as you mean to go on. If Lynn wants to go out to work, 
That's fine by me, as long as my dinner's ready when I get in. Well, you can't say fairer than that. Exactly. Baking. Women should bake cakes. Lynn knows all about this. I'm she? sorry, Chase, but when she's missing some, she'll do she's told. You want to. A woman's place is on the phone. <laughs> what? No, she meant to say that. Well, I think you meant in the home. Yeah. I know, but that's only when they're working for the kids. <laughs> Charles, four year old girls are going for an Indian. Yeah, they were. Why? I've just seen your youngest having a rock on the doorstep. You yeah, with? Caffeine. Go over and have a look. Do you want me to come with me? No, you wait here and I won't be long. And I'm going to take this with me, so I'll make sure there's some left when I come back. Oh, that's so horrible! But nothing else matters anymore, so as long as you and me are all right. So you just let him carry on drinking over there, laughing at Dad behind his back. He's not about him anymore. How can you say that? It's true. No, it ain't true! No, I have to live with it, and so do you. Just let him get away with what he did to you. What's the alternative? We tell Dad. Have you any idea what that'll do to him? It's time everybody stopped lying to each other. Do you realise the damage it would do? How can things be any worse than they are? I don't know what you're saying. Tell them the truth. No. If you don't, I will. Sorry, I can't. You might be my mum, and you can't tell me what to do! What the hell's going on? <laughs> so what's next, girls? We could find a club pack, can't we? Yeah. we got to get her in a cab first. <laughs> I love you, Nan. You crabby old cat. <laughs> you wash your lip. We can always gate crash the Vic and see what that lot are up to. Oh. Uh, see if I've still got a pub left. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's bad luck, isn't it? But Wolfie, he's got a stripper in there. Oh. It wouldn't hurt for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> have you lost your mind? I couldn't help it. That's no way to tell the girl something like that, squabbling in the streets. It wasn't like that. Well, it sounds like that to me. Okay, the rest of it. No, sorry. The rest of what? Nothing, Dad. She's just upset. Just ignore her. He's got a right to know what happened. Sorry, don't do this. Somebody tell me what's going on. Sorry, please. Don't want lies. Tell him. No. Tell me what? Who's my real daddy? Sorry. Some kid from school, that's what you say. She lied. Cat? Tell him! I can't! You can't let him get away with it! Please, please, please don't do this. I have to. Sorry. I have to tell you. Kat didn't want you to know. She kept it to herself. Oh, there she is. But it ain't right, is it, Dad? What he did. I wouldn't you? 